everyone. It's Chris Bednarik from the OSFM's Division of Personnel Standards and Education. And today we're going to talk a little bit about how to register for the portal. Why is this such a big deal right now, you might be asking? Well, the OSFM is excited to announce the launch of Vector Solutions. Uh, you may already know Vector Solutions as their kind of old name target solutions. There's a lot of folks out there that are using that platform to track their training. Well, we're getting ready to release an enterprise solution for the entire state. It'll be a free tool available to all Illinois fire departments and firefighters to track training hours. So one of the biggest things that we need for you folks to do, if you think that getting down with our Vector Solutions platform is gonna be in your future, is to make sure that you're registered on the portal. So we're gonna cover how to do that. If you're a chief or a training officer, it's super easy to walk your folks through this if they're not already registered. If you are already registered, uh, just pop in there and make sure your credentials still work. If they don't, or you can't remember your password or the email that you registered with, uh, reach out to one of the fire certification specialists in your area and we can get those, uh, those credentials reset for you and get you rolling. So on to how to get registered on the portal. So here we are on the home page for the State Fire Marshal's Office. You can get there. It's sfm.illinois.gov. Uh, you're going to hover over this IMA link up here in the menu bar. Scoot on down to where it says Fire Department. I understand that you as an individual are not a fire department, but Fire Department is the link that gets you where you got to be. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to this red one right here in the center, ps &E Web Access Firefighter Logon. We're going to click on that. And this is going to bring us to the, the sign-in page for the portal. So if you haven't done this before, uh, you're going to go over here where this link is. It says register a new user. So you're going to click on that, and you're going to type in your email address. We're going to use mine. Um, it'll just kind of help things move along here just a little bit. So your first name and your last name need to be entered the same way that they are entered on the roster for your fire department. So I go by Chris, but I know on our roster at the OSFM, I'm listed as Christopher. So I'm going to make that change right now. And my last name, Bednarik. You'll need to add your driver's license number. So we'll put in uh, the, the fake one that they have here. For your birth date, you know, it's, it's two digits all the way across, four digits for the year. Uh, your FDID number. If you don't know what your FDID number is, there's this link right here so that you can search. Uh, you can just put in whatever fire department you're from, OSFM, Division of Personal Standards and Education. My FDID number would be ZA100. That opens up in a new tab, so I can just go back to the original tab, ZA100. It doesn't really matter if it's all caps or not. Uh, you'll select a, a security question. Uh, let's go with our favorite color. Uh, my favorite color is puce. Um, and then we'll hit register. After you click register, you'll get a notice that it went through and the portal system is going to generate an automated message to the email address that you listed so that you can validate that email address. Once you've done that, you will have access to the portal. If you need to see the PDF or that document that I showed right at the very beginning of the video here in our current focus on the homepage for the fire marshal's office. Uh, there's a nice article uh, that JC has put on here for us. You can click on that and it's going to take you right to that document and you can see it. If you have any questions, you know, we're happy to get these flyers out to you in person. You can post them at your firehouse, uh, bring them out to chief's meeting, training officers meetings, things like that. Uh, so that we can try to get the word out and, and start getting all this stuff rolling for us. So again, this is Chris Bernard from the OSFM's Division of Personal Standards and Education, and this is how you get registered for the portal. I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we're more than happy to help at any time.